hi guys i'm back here with another episode of best android launchers and if you have not been through my previous episodes the link to is in the description and uh, generally i cover new uh, launchers in this series so let's begin and the first one here is the windows 7 taskbar it's not a launcher exactly and uh, it can run on any other launcher on top of any other launcher so here you see the start menu at this corner if you tap it once you'll get this uh, you know tab uh, I mean the dock bar kind of what do you say the taskbar and uh, here you will have all your running apps there you see so you can close your apps from here you just need to uh, I mean tap and hold it and just leave it tap and hold leave tap and hold leave so this way you can close your running apps if you tap this uh, start menu again it gets hidden and if you don't want this symbol as well pull your notification here you'll have this windows 7 taskbar as in it says click to hide the taskbar tap it once it gets hidden again tap it you'll get it tap and hold it you'll launch this start menu uh, it completely looks like the, you know the start menu that you get with the windows 7 so it's really cool it looks really nice you get this uh, you know windows 7 as in the start menu ui on your android device so here you have all your applications you can launch any of your apps uh, very quick uh, say for example let's uh, launch the okay, gallery there you have it again let's say let's say let's launch the internet so this is how it works so again tap and hold it you can uh, you know launch any of your apps very quick you can search any of your apps here if you have a uh, you know very long list of apps and you can uh, do your settings uh, for this taskbar from here so this is a really cool app i would say uh, it's very cool to show it off to your friends you can say that you, you have this windows 7 on your android as in the windows 7 ui you have this taskbar you have this start menu so the next one here is the xperia launcher so guys you don't get this launcher in the play store i will leave the link to the xj thread from where you can download this launcher as well as that thread will provide you with additional widgets and icons available with the Xperia UI uh, as in the Xperia smartphones so let's launch it so here you have the Xperia you know icons and the Xperia you know animations when you move around the icons the floating kind of animations here and you even have this bin here to remove your icon so that's nice let's uh, and the page indicator at the top so no issues at all the launch is really smooth let's uh, get into the app drawer so here you have the xperia ui as in the xperia launcher transitions again uh, you can uh, change the order of your app according to alphabet most used and recent uh, recently installed you also can search your apps moving on to settings you can customize your home screen as in customize this launcher like uh, just a moment Tapping and holding on to the home screen, you can you can add a widgets, apps, launcher actions, wallpapers, launcher settings, system settings, manage apps, and so on. So let's get into launcher settings. So here you have your home screen settings. From here you can uh, do the setup for your desktop grid, grid size, and infinite scrolling, and all this kind of stuff. Customize your home screen. Here you have the options to customize your dock bar. From here, the app drawer tab, you can customize your app drawer. You can customize the grid size. Uh, you can enable infinite scrolling. You can hide apps and stuff. Moving on, you have this button and gestures. You also can add gestures to your launcher. On your home screen, what do you want to do if you do a swipe up? Swipe down, pinch in and pinch out. You can give in your custom actions here. On your general, you can do your general setup according to your preferences. Uh, and here under appearance, you also can add various icon packs. I have downloaded the key lime pie. Let's try it. Just a moment, guys. Just okay. So there you see the icons are from the upcoming Android version. That's the key lime pie. It's just a concept, okay? So anyway, you also can uh, apply additional icons as in you can use uh, various icon packs and stuff so that's really nice and if you want to experience the xperia user interface i'll definitely suggest you to try this launcher so that's my number two the next one here is the mi home 
and guys uh, this is not a new launcher since this launcher got an update so i thought i'll make a video on it and uh this is the latest miui look okay the new icons very colorful uh looks really elegant okay and uh, you will be noticing that we don't have an app drawer generally with the miui interface we don't have an app drawer anything installed directly comes to the home screen and the launch is really nice really smooth no lags at all everything is working as it should and even you have the toggles and widgets available with it and it's working uh, moving on to the system settings as in the launcher settings so guys uh, moving on to the settings you also can uh, you know add themes to this launcher if you don't like the stock miui look as in these icons you can download various themes online let's move on to just a moment let's move on to the launcher settings and from here you can customize your launcher you can uh, change the transitional effects you can uh, let's say 3d cube you can change the wallpaper scroll types icon shadow and stuff I can you can uh, customize your locker that's the lock screen so you do get the miui lock screen with this launch as well so let me just quickly show it to you so this is the new miui lock screen it's modified so you can go on to dialer or uh, you know call you can launch the camera messaging and unlock your phone so anyway you can customize your locker you can customize your ringtone so uh, this is what you can do with this launcher you can add various themes and you have this complete new kind of uh, you know launcher with the without the app drawer so a pretty cool uh, launcher i would say uh, you can uh, try this launcher if you want to the next one here is the ss launcher and this is the ss launcher completely different from all the other launchers very unique uh, very innovative okay so at top you have this uh, you know tabs like home hot applications contacts and so on so on your home screen you'll have your date and your day here and here you have your phone you can go into dialer and stuff contacts and all and here you see this uh, notifications as in you have zero here if you have any missed calls or anything you will be notified here you have your browser you can launch in the browser and here you have your Google Talk so everything is working as it should and uh, you also can add various widgets to your lock screen just a moment okay you can add new widgets uh, load a template add templates so let's say add a new widget say for example i need the assistive light so there you see it you can resize it as well like this so you can uh, customize your widgets you can uh, you know resize it and stuff Moving on to the hot, you can add various applications that you use the most. Uh, let's say it's a, it's a kind of, you know, the favorite apps tab. Moving on, you have all your applications. Contacts, bookmarks. So let's move on to the launcher settings. And from here, you can do all kind of setup and customizations for your launcher. Say, for example, the orientation, whether you want the portrait or the landscape or the auto, language, full screen, hide dock bar, disable trash scan, uh, trash scan uh, ignore page background, and all this kind of stuff. You can just uh, go ahead and uh, do your customizations. You can add various wallpapers and all. So, a really uh, cool launcher just for a change if you want a different look on your uh, android device you can just try this launcher the next one here is the buzz launcher so guys uh, how this launcher exactly works is you know basically these days theming your android has been a trend there are so many uh, youtube channels providing you with tutorials on how to theme your android but this launcher helps you a lot this is the easiest method to get all the cool kind of home screens to your android download this launcher and what you need to do is get, get into menu get into home ba home back buzz you have additional options here i will just come back to it in a moment and here you'll have a list of uh, themes available so you have categories uh, staff picks hot and new so anything you like you can just select it let's say for example i need this one and hit download and hit apply to my home and I'll be back with you once the installation is complete 
So you can launch in your dialer. So everything is working as so you have this widget. And guys, here you must be, uh, you know, watching this icons here, the arrow down arrow kind of uh, icon. So this means you don't have this widget. You need to download it. Just tap it and it will take you to the Play Store and you need to download it. So guys, uh, this home screen uses a lot of additional widgets and stuff. So you just need to tap it once and it will take you to the Play Store and you can start downloading it. So again, from here as well, hit OK. Uh, you don't have this toggles, this widget. Uh, so just tap it and hit OK. You need to download this. And what I mean here is, you know, it will automatically, you know, uh, suggest to you what you need to download and you can just uh, download these widgets and start using this home screen so you have you know various cool uh, home screens here available for your android you can customize it the way you want to you can download from loads of themes let's move on to settings as in the bud settings here you can uh, add gestures on your launch as well uh, two finger swipe up two finger swipe down you can enable it uh, you have backup and restore uh, set as default launcher and all kind of a basic setup here again moving on to additional setup you have your app drawer decoration uh, home pack buzz this is the store from where you can download all the themes and stuff uh, let's move on to app drawer so this is your app drawer and you also have this widget tab. so this is a very cool launcher if you want a very different uh, a unique uh, home screen for your Android looks really different uh, very elegant the next one here is the SF Launcher. This is a very simple launcher. You just have three pages of your launcher. One is the apps, one is the main page, and one is for settings. And here you can add various widgets to it. On this, let's say, let's add the music player. Okay. And uh, here you see the date, uh, day and your time widget. Uh, you know, you can customize this part. I'll come back to it in a moment. And here you have your list of applications and here you can customize your uh, launcher let's say getting into settings you can customize your theme as in light dark or auto let's say dark now you go back now you see the theme it's dark again getting into themes and uh, from city you can uh, choose from various cities let's say example the beats now let's go back and here you have the change so you can add various uh, you know scenes uh, to your widget here you can choose from various widgets and you will see the change again moving on you have the clock and date settings you can uh, customize your colors and text size and all so guys uh, that widget is highly customizable as in this uh, widget this is the main attraction uh, for this launcher you can uh, give in your accents header accents header long press action clock action uh, and all these kind of settings so it's a very simple and a very elegant launcher you also can uh, disable the status bar and this will lead you to a full screen uh, launcher so this is how it looks the next one here is the rabbit launcher this is an old launcher actually but uh, I never knew about this launcher so I just thought I'll add this launcher in this video so let it load so here you can see let me just decrease the brightness so that you can see the change so here you have your animations on these icons and a paper plane flying around kind of wallpaper so this is the rapid launcher and uh, here you have this 3d kind of widgets when you tap and hold your home screen you will have additional 3d widgets so right now we just we just have the 3d clock enabled as in 3d clock available maybe with the future updates we will have additional uh, 3d widgets let's move on to the app drawer so you have all your apps this 3d cube kind of transitions so that's really nice again uh, you can do various setup for this launcher so guys, the icons you see on top right corner, you can uh, hide your dock from here. Like this, and again enable it. So guys, this launcher is highly customizable. Let's move into settings. You have this rabbit store from where you can download additional themes and icons for your launcher. So you have so many themes to choose from. Here you have your list. It's just loading. So you can download any theme you want to. Let's say let's get this if it's free. So it's free. Let's download it quickly. So let it download. Let's move on to additional settings. So here you have your rabbit settings, and from here you can customize your home screens. 
the page indicator, the icon grid size, the desk transitions and stuff. Here you have your wallpaper settings, the drawer settings, uh, you can give in your icon and grid size again for your app drawer. You can apply themes to it. I have downloaded, uh, I'm downloading one. Let it complete, I'll just quickly show it to you. So let's apply this a new theme, the bubble friends. Now hit apply theme. Now going back. So there you have your new theme. All this bubble kind of style and stuff. So you can add various themes and stuff. So I just came through this launcher. This launcher is smooth, no lags at all. Everything is working as it should. Uh, very cool, you know, f fancy kind of uh, look. It gives a fancy kind of look to your Android. So guys, the last one for this video is display launcher. It's uh, somewhat like the Pi controls. You have your phone here. You can uh, get into phone, contacts, call logs, uh, missed calls, redial. Let's get into call logs. We have nothing here. Again, going back. Uh, on your diary you have your new messages, meeting, new email, calendar, you can launch in these apps. Sorry. On your media you have all kind of uh, multimedias like album, video player, camera, music player and so on. Uh, on your apps you have all your apps. You can also add shortcuts. Let's say app shortcut one. You can add any applications. Let's say camera. Now done. What you can do is get into apps and you can launch the camera very quick. So this is how it works. So guys, with this launcher, you don't have an app drawer. So what you can do here is hit the menu button and get into apps and you have your app drawer here. I just wanted you to inform about this, you know, launcher. You can add various shortcuts again to launch it that app quickly. Uh, seven shortcuts, uh, seven of your favorite apps that you use the most. You can add your shortcuts and hit done. And from here, you can uh, launch your apps. Okay, so. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section. Any suggestions is highly appreciated. Uh, stay tuned for more and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.